Hi, I'm Dandy Daly Mackle, and this is my library. I write lots of books for every age, but one of my favorite things to do is to write beautiful Christmas books, and I can say they're beautiful because I just do the words and other people do the illustrations. And at special request by my daughter, I'm reading 17 Christmases first, and 17 because when my kids were little, our kids were little, we used to have to go see my parents, my husband's parents, my sister. We'd have a Christmas at our house, a Christmas at the other relatives. And one year, they just said, is this another of those years where we're going to have 17 Christmases? And from that, 17 Christmases. 17 Christmases all in a row, get packing, get cracking, get ready to go. I'm not sure I want to, but no one asked me. We're wrapping and mapping and ready to flee. But it's weeks before Christmas, at least two or three. Oh, and then down at the bottom, it's weeks before Christmas, at least two or three. First off to LA and to Grandma Kincaid. We don't drink hot chocolate, we toast lemonade. We don't deck the halls, but we deck the deck bright, pretending we're wise men who followed the light that guided the way that miraculous night. Then we head out for North Carolina. In North Carolina, we join in the search for Cousin Ben's costume. He needs it for church. I dress as a shepherd and Ben as a sheep. We rush to the stable, then softly I creep. Right there in the manger, the baby's asleep. Then we drive up to cold Colorado. We reach Colorado to see Uncle Zeke, who lives in a cabin on top of Pikes Peak. We build up a snowman that looks like Aunt Jo, then fall to the ground and make angels of snow. Three Christmases down and just 14 to go. Now, we're off to my aunt's ranch in Texas. It's Christmas in Texas with dad, sister, Sue. I stop counting cousins at 72. We dive in headfirst for our Christmas Eve swim and listen to music from great uncle Jim. I wonder if Jesus would like this old hymn. Then we drive to my grand's in and this is really my mom's. In Missouri, other people say Missouri, I say Missouri. In Missouri, my granny serves turkey and ham, potato, tomatoes, and biscuits with jam. We all clean our plates till they're very well fed, then snuggle up close while the Bible is read. We fit 14 children in only one bed. Then head for the hills of Ohio. In Ohio, my mother hugs Grandpappy Pete, who calls in the neighbors who live on his street. Then other folks join us. We sing door to door, a choir of 100 or possibly more. I never got chills just from singing before. Then it's time for great grandpas in Philly, like Philadelphia. I love Pennsylvania. We chop down our tree and carry it home, my great grandpa and me. Our tree's way too big, but we push and we shove. Great Gramps waves his hand toward the bright stars above and tells me that Christmas is proof of God's love. Then we pack up to see New York City. All right. We start driving east, but my mom hollers, wait, we can't forget Peg back in Washington State. So we backtrack a bit without any debate and celebrate Christmas at Peggy's estate. Then Christmas, I'm thinking, must be number eight. Then we drive back to friends in New York. New Yorkers are noisy and Christmas is loud. We shop in the city, get lost in the crowd. We see a parade and enjoy decorations and hear Merry Christmas in seven translations. We pray that Christ's love spread to all of the nations. Then off to the folks in, are you thinking where it might be next? Chicago. 
In the heart of Chicago, my great grandma Kate has mistletoe dangling and lying in wait. I try to dodge kisses, but get nowhere fast. I sit by great grandma who's having a blast and telling us stories of Christmas's past. Then we bundle up good for Alaska. Whoa. We have a nice Christmas with Ken in Alaska, then drop in to visit our friends in Nebraska. We bake hot cross buns down in South Indiana and cook up some pralines in old Louisiana. My uncle's in Maine and my aunt's in Montana. Then we pile in the car last one last time. Back home to Kentucky, the last is the best. It's way past December, but still I feel blessed. Our Christmas tree's dry, all the needles are brown, the fruit cake is moldy, our stockings are down, and Jesus is here in my very own town. So I hum, happy birthday to you. I think of the Savior and climb into bed while visions of Christmases dance in my head. I thank God for Jesus and family galore for 17 Christmas, never a chore, and since I'm just eight and my sister is four, they tell us that someday we'll have even more. <laughs> the end. And this was illustrated by Michelle Noisette.